Hi, this is Simon Liang from SimonLiang.com and today, let's talk about how to hire the right people for your organization. As entrepreneurs or even those aspiring to be one, even if it's an online entrepreneur or internet marketer, you'll eventually find yourself at some point in need of hiring someone to help you in your business. As you begin to grow, do bigger and better things, you will realize that you can't possibly do everything on your own. Now, I'm not saying that you might not have the skills. Maybe you do. I don't know. But even for my own online businesses, even though I can do everything myself, and in most cases, I do. Having others as part of your team to help you out in the process can be extremely valuable if you want to scale, grow, or maybe just have a better lifestyle. But finding the right person or persons to hire may not be so simple, and by no means am I an expert in it, but having been in the game for over two decades now, for anyone who is looking to scale or simply to begin with the end in mind, I'm here today to share with you some of my own experiences as I've been interviewing some candidates for my own companies recently, and this topic, well, it's still very much fresh on my mind right now. Okay boss, this one's for you. But first, are you looking to hire or to be hired? Click the thumbs up button if you are hiring and the thumbs down button if you want to be hired. Then comment below as we may actually have opportunities in my organizations for you right now. Interested? Let's talk. But as for today, let me share with you from over 20 years of real world experience what makes the best employees and the kind of people that we should hire on. Without further ado, Let's do this. Depending on where you are in your business and what kind of projects you might be running, you may or may not have immediate needs for employees. Whether as a full-time or part-time staff or interns and contractors to handle certain tasks, employees are important to help you scale. Like I said, you can't do everything on your own. Not if you want to hit those six or seven figure a year goals while still having time to spend with your family. Lifestyle freedom is the key. As business owners, there are tons of tasks that need to be done every day. Things like research, product creation, service delivery, customer support, graphics, videos, websites, social media, sales, marketing, promotions, not to mention the basic logistics like admin, data entry, and accounting, and so much more. Even if you can do everything on your own, why would you want to? So the next logical question is, how do you actually find the right people to help you? To me, it's simple. Unlike the traditional methods of complicated, elongated interview sessions with psychological questions and 10 rounds of meetings or nitpicking every aspect of someone's resume, I had to go through that at Google. It was not fun. I've learned that you can't hire people based on experience, education, skills, or what they wrote on their resumes. In less than 20 minutes, sometimes 10, I would wrap up my interviews and already decide if my interviewees should even be considered. You see, anyone can beef up a nice looking resume and sell themselves, but you won't know what that person is actually capable of from just a piece of paper. So in hindsight, outside of letting you understand just a little bit more about your candidates, resumes mean absolutely nothing. Most resumes make no sense anyway. The important thing is, how will they perform at the job? Truth is, it matters less what they say they have or say what they can do. What matters most is their attitude. Skills are learned, experience is gained, Education is ongoing. You need to train your team members regardless, right? They won't know everything about your business or its operational procedures. We train for the skills required for their role. Their most crucial criteria is their attitude. Are they motivated? Are they excited about the opportunity? Are they eager to get things moving? In most cases, during the hiring process, you won't know how someone will be able to perform and if they can do the things that they said that they can. All that comes later, but to get to that part, they need to show the right enthusiastic attitude about contributing to your team, about being part of something big, about sharing your vision with you. They need to understand and accept your culture. Personally, I have a unique culture in my organizations. We don't have set hours necessarily. Most days, you won't even need to be at the office. But when I send a message, let's say at 2 a.m. or call for an impromptu meeting the next day, you need to be ready. 
Now, I'll also tell you who you shouldn't be hiring. People who are obviously just looking for a job. People who don't put in the effort to make a good or lasting impression. People who make excuses on things that they cannot do. I've had hiring candidates who try to make their own terms on what jobs they want. People who are choosing tasks within the job scope, asking how long they need to be there, as if they have better things to do with their time. Some even ask if their interviews are paid interviews or how much they're being offered even before we had the hiring meeting. These people, well, they just want a paycheck. They're not invested in you. And these people who obviously don't have the right attitude or mentality, well, they lost a job. Forget it, this is not for you. If all they want is a job, jobs are a dime a dozen. Let them go elsewhere. You need people who are committed to you and what you do, your business, to see the value in what you can offer, what you can teach them, and be grateful for the opportunity. You need people who are already motivated and all ready to go. We're too busy to need to concern about having to keep employees motivated. Yes, when they perform, rewards and bonuses will follow, but I can't do the work for you to motivate you. People who are motivated by money or benefits or food or personal agenda or whatever else, they are motivated for all the wrong reasons and the truth is they won't be a good fit for long. For some of our previous and current hires, some of them volunteered their time for weeks, maybe even months before being on payroll. Some were active and proved to be an asset. Some of them even went unpaid or, get this, refused to get paid while still contributing hugely to our team. Because, well, they're committed. They appreciate your culture. They have the right attitude. Now, I understand, even though jobs are a dime a dozen, people like this are not which is why if you want to prolong the longevity of your team and to enforce absolute quality control, everyone now who wants to join our companies go through a probationary period. We no longer hire permanent employees right out of the gate. For hired staff, they must prove themselves. For sales representatives, they must perform. For any and all other roles, they must demonstrate that they can get things done. Otherwise, it's just a waste of everyone's time. And of course, for the high performers, they are welcome to be a permanent part of our warm community environment that truly only those on the inside would know about. As far as what keeps the good employees around and how to actually create a rewarding community culture for the right people, well, that's gonna be a topic for another video. Today, we talked about how to find the quality new hires and that is definitely the most important first step. Now, if you're interested to apply for a position within my own organizations and you see yourself fitting in based on the attitude requirements that I just talked about, then and only then would I invite you to take a look at the description and comments to see our current career opportunities. We are hiring worldwide and not just for our local events business as most of our jobs actually have flexible hours and allow you to work from home or anywhere we want because we believe in the freedom lifestyle. You're welcome. So be sure to check them out and let us know if you actually see a fit with your own vision in life. Hope this video was helpful to you in your own journey to scale your business or career. For more valuable tips on entrepreneurship, leadership, success, internet marketing, and building an awesome team for your organization, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and tick that bell to get the newest notifications. More related videos should be on the screen right now that may interest you, so be sure to take a look. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.